All right, guys, we're back in action again. Um, last video, I showed you guys how to actually use a bow compass, okay, and setting it up from distance of the center of the circle to the outside edge. Okay, so you should know that definition as to which one of it is, uh, one of these three it is. Okay, so you should have that in your own words, dictionary proof, and you should have a picture of it. Um, the picture that you should have represented uh, needs to look like the one on the whiteboard. So if you need to reference that, please take a look. So this tool, I'm going to put this one away for now. Next tool that we're going to use is called the circle template. Okay, um, I'm going to slide this piece of paper over because obviously I have my circle established on here already. So I'm going to slide my circle or my piece of uh, paper over the top and have kind of a blank slate. I have my center of my circles already marked. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my circle template on here and I'm going to take my scale and I'm going to show you something here. We're going to look at this circle right here. It says 1 and 5 eighths on it. If I measure from edge to edge through the center of the circle, do you think it's going to come out to be 1 and 5 eighths on the opposite side? Look at that measurement. Okay. With that bit of knowledge, again, back to your vocabulary, you should be able to identify the sizing for this tool, whether it's circumference, radius, or diameter. Okay? Once you understand that, it'll help you out with your math um, in establishing the right tool and the correct use for the tool. All right, coming back to my design here. I have a R three quarters, a radius of three quarters. Okay? Now, for this tool here, I need to do some math in order to figure out what tool, what circle on this tool I need to choose. If I simply go to the three quarters and I drew a circle, uh oh, my circle would be too small. Okay? So you need to do a little thinking process with that, and I'm going to let you guys figure that out. Okay, as to what size um, circle template I would use for that. I'm going to show you how to use it though. So the first thing I want to do is take my lines that I've already established on here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend them out but I'm going to use a construction line so it's really light. I'm going to grab my triangle I'm going to draw a vertical line up here. Okay, so now I have it established. I have my vertical and I have my horizontal. From there, all I need to do is select the right or correct circle template, line up the four coordinates with the lines already on my page, then all I need to do is trace right around that. Nice and dark, so I get it nice and clean. I have an object line there. Okay. And what I can do is come back with my eraser shield and clean up my excess lines and make it look good okay so once I have a finished product I come back through and you make sure that you clean up your product okay. clean up all the lines that you don't need okay. and when you're completed with that make sure you put your name plate number grade on it and submit it for credit Good luck, guys.